hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn about the intents and how to use them so in this video we will focus on the explicit intents and in the next video we will also discuss implicit intents so intents are just like messaging objects which are used to deliver the message with an application the message can be delivered between different activities and different objects so in this video we will send the message from one activity to another activity and we will launch the second activity from the first activity with the help of intents and also we'll send a message from activity 1 to activity 2 with the help of intent so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so guys if you are new to our channel then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel because we have been working on creating free courses materials and a lot of contents So guys let's create a new project and from here select the empty activity and click next and in the application name write write the name explicit intents and we are okay with the package name location language and SDK will be 8.0 Oreo and click finish button so let's wait a while until Android Studio is ready for the development. So guys, our project is ready. The basic flow of this project will be sending message from activity 1 to activity 2. So we will have different images of fast food and we will send an index from the activity 1 to the activity 2 and based upon that index we will change the image on the activity 2 so let's start the process so first of all let's come towards the main activity let's design a simple interface and it will be an edit text the plain text in which we will write the index Let's come to the code and here type the ID as edit text index and the text will be write image index. So in the same way we will drag a button and drop below it. Let's adjust some constraints. And from here, write the text send image index. So now let's uh, add some on click method on the first activity. It will be public white on index send button clicked now let's add this index to this button for this we will press the enter and from here we will let me correct the event name it will be on index and button pressed and here we will write the method name so guys so guys the interface design for the first activity is completed now let's create the second activity on which we want to send the message and we want to launch that activity for this right click on this package name from the new select the activity and from here select the empty activity and write its name second activity and leave this box checked to generate a late file and click finish button so guys our second activity is created and we can also verify from the android manifest.xml file and we can see that our second activity is added in the manifest file 
So it is mandatory to include this activity in the manifest file, otherwise our functionality will not be operated. Now let's come towards interface of second activity. But before that, let me import the images we want to display on this activity. So I have four images. Let's copy it and select the drawable, right click on it and paste these images. Select the drawable, click OK. And our four images has been added in the project. Now from the image view, drag and drop it on here. And for the moment, let's select the burger image. Let's add some constraint. Now let's define its ID. So guys, now let's come towards the first activity and we will write our intent here to launch the second activity. For this, I will write the intent. As I am receiving the error because its namespace is not added in this file. So click on this and press Alt plus Enter. So you can see here its namespace is imported. Now let's get the image index from the edit text for this. Now let's put the got index into the intent extra. And its name will be image index and its value will be index. And now start the activity by giving the intent so guys as you can see here in the first line we have defined the intent we got the text from the edit text in which we will write the index and pass this index to the extras of intent and start the, our second activity now when this intent will come in the second activity we will display the image depending upon this index So let's make a function So we have defined our image view and if we are receiving the index number one, we will set the burger image to the image view. In the same way, let's repeat the same process for other images. So guys, based upon the image index, we have set different images to the image view. So now let's receive the intent coming from the main activity and parse it and get the index and pass this index to this function so that it can be able to set the image. So the extras key value must be which is given from the main activity.
and from here pass the receive index to this function so guys in this line we have got the extras from the intent which is sent from the first activity and from the extras we extract the key value of image string and pass this value for setting the image so our code is completed now let's compile and test the application so guys now let's write the image index so for the moment i will write one and send the image index so our activity is launched and we are seeing the burger image the same we have set now let's try again this time i will write two and send the intent and we are seeing the ice cream image as we have set let's try for the third pizza image so guys as you can see here we are receiving the image by the intents so we can test for all the values we have set in this project in the same way we can send the intent back to the main activity the first activity in the same way so guys this is enough for this session in the next video we will discuss the implicit intents